Hello world and hello people of Trinidad and Tobago. New day, new daily challenge. And let's see what we can do today. Um, a friend of mine did it before and he told me it's a bit of a weird one. He said, I think the beginning is doable, but then towards the end, it's a bit annoying. But let's see, let's not focus on what he said. Let's just focus on our game. So we find ourselves in Portugal, right? And 204, or is it Spain? Wait, A2, E9, T6, CM, wait, so that's Spain actually, right? Let's find it quickly. Yeah, that's Spanish rather and not Portuguese. So what do we have here? Okay, so that's good. So we are heading south-ish towards Madrid on the E90 and Guadalajara. So Siguenza, we saw that. Um, and then Almadrones y Fuentes. So we are around here, maybe even exactly where I've clicked, to be honest. Hmm. Okay, wait. I want to see. Oh, there's also something here. Yeah, that. Uh, yeah, okay, so. Exit. Does it have the exit numbers here? That's the 103. We need the 104. And the. Okay, how much time? One minute, wait. Yeah, 103. So. Wait, here's the 83. Okay, then that doesn't make quite sense. CM, I need the CN1101. Okay, wait, so where is Seguenza? It's actually up here. So here's this that CM thing. That's a 135, though. That's a 129. Uh, but then where is exit 104? Okay, wait, I need to focus for a second here. I mean, we should be just here, I feel like. Because if I go south, there's like so many things here. There's this, there's this. But here it says exit 103, actually. So uh, are we this far down? No, I don't think we are. I'll just stay here. I'm not feeling super comfortable with it though. But we were on the other one. Ah, this is annoying. The okay, Sequenza was north ish, but this is both north ish here. Yeah, but there's no is there the one oh four actually? See like it never says one oh four. There's a 101 and 103. Yeah, there's not the 104, as it said. So I was actually right where I looked initially, but um, sometimes it's not so easy. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the next one. So, see, okay, I'm a bit confused. But let's start moving. Spanish, that was expected. And Peru, okay. So let's try to make this happen. But yeah, right, this is the shape of Colombia though. And is it? What is this? No, what is this shape actually? I mean, okay, it has to be Peru, right? So, also with all these tuk-tuks. Um, now, Peru, not a small country. So, let's see if we can find something. Um, I don't think these buses are going to be useful. 
So I think we should be close to the coast because there was like a sign that said um, club, like hunting club and fishing club. Does that make sense? La Vista Nanai. Okay, this could be useful. I'm going to take a very quick look along the coast for Bella Vista Nanai. One minute left though only, so maybe I should be fast. Mm -hmm. Can't see anything. Okay, shit. That's not very good. <laughs> I really don't know where to click then. Yeah, but yeah, Vista Nanai again. I feel... Could it be a lake? There are some lakes all across the country. But I'm hesitant to go for a lake. Ah, uh, Bella Vista Nanai. And I think there could be the ocean behind this. I really don't know. I'm, I have to click somewhere. I got down here. But. Ooh, okay, it was on a river. We were in Iquitos, really? Oh, wow. It looked sort of like a big place, but I definitely didn't expect to be in Iquitos, the northern edge of the city. Wow. And this was actually the Amazon River and not the ocean. So that's a pity. That's a lot of points lost. Um, but yeah, like Bella Vista Nana is just a part of the city, so I would not have seen it anyway. I maybe if I was lucky, I would have seen a sign that said Iquitos because Iquitos is a big place after all. But it didn't happen. We lost a lot of points, and now we are in in the Balkans. Edward Stereo Love, Edward Maya. That's a banger song. So, um, do we have a website here or anything? Hmm. I mean, we're on the coast, so it can only be so many places. Um, let's figure out what this is. It also has some German here, so definitely a touristy area. Um, yeah, there's a bus where everything's in German. And what that was that the Czech flag? Just tourists? Yeah. So, okay, I was gonna say, I think this is Croatia, and this flag seems to confirm it. So, we need a touristy place. I guess not super touristy, but still. Attracts buses from Germany. And there are some mountains. There's the ocean as well. So maybe I should now not go into the village, but rather out of it to hopefully find a sign. Okay, now that I've come this way, I'm gonna. Come on, please. Let me move. Ah, oh, it's, it's a bit difficult to move around here. I'm just going to do it with the arrows. It seems that this is how it works now. So, is that a sign? Vala Borova? Vala Borova? Hmm. What's Vila? So, that's Hajduk split. Um, the football club Hajduk Split and I guess this could be around Split um, I'm not so sure I've been to Split 
but we only stayed in the city so I don't know if this is what it looks like around it okay here's a sign finally so Politza Kapitz something like that okay not a lot of time left so I'm gonna click around here and Okay, I don't see anything. Okay, it was further south. Here, Podata. Okay, uh, it could have been better, but not terrible. Not terrible. I, I can say that wasn't terrible. I should have not gone into the village because it took me ages to find that sign. I should have gone the other way. There would have been a sign much earlier, I'm pretty sure. But, um,. I wanted to make sure that it's Croatia. That's why I went into the village to sort of look for something. Anyway, let's go to the next one. Fourth. And Spanish again. No. Wait. No. <laughs> this is like Indonesian. Or Malaysia. Malay, I guess, is the right word. Wait, what does this say? Chila like Kila Cup, I think I've heard of this. Okay, RP. This means Indonesia. So, there's also the ID to confirm. Now, we have an address here, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure Kila Cup is a place. I do want to just quickly scan the map for it. Maybe just with this zoom. Just a quick scan with this zoom to see if I find it. Like, it sounds pretty familiar to me, but I might be wrong. Okay, with this zoom, I can't see it. Of course, that's very zoomed out, so. Quick scan, silicon. Hmm. There are some things that start with C, but. Okay, I'm gonna leave it and just keep going south a bit <clears throat> in the hopes of finding something. But this look, uh, this road looks very well, like it's not gonna have anything. But you never know. I uh, have to give it a go and see. But now, because we're in a place where people live, I doubt that we'll find any good signs. That's a small blue one, say. Tana Milik. I don't know what any of those things mean. So, this is looking kind of tough. Maybe I should actually just go into the map and look for that Kila Park thing. Hati Hati. That's plural, right? I think Indonesia does a plural, plural by repeating things. But I'm not sure. Okay, I mean. Railway line, that's pretty useful, I would say, because I assume there's not too many rail lines. I assume there will be some around here. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go and click here for the time being. Let's follow it a bit. That's all train lines, right? Hmm. Well, there's 10 seconds left, so it doesn't really matter what I do now. I'll just have to wait and pray that we're close. Let's see. Okay. Ah, here it is. Kila Cup. Okay. I don't think I've heard of it. Like, it sounded very familiar, but I don't think I've actually heard of it. And where's the train line? Here it is. That's where we crossed. Well... If I had gone a bit faster, maybe I had reached this junction. I want to check it out actually real quick. It's one of those things that I think what would have happened if I had reached that. So let me just quickly, oh wait, there's a monument here. I'm not sure exactly what this thing, okay. Anyway, um, it's one of those rounds where you think had I reached this place, would I have found it out? But 
mm, probably not. Huh? <laughs> this doesn't look too useful. Okay, so doesn't really matter. We got somewhat close, and let's go to the next one, which is the last one as well. And oof, this is looking a bit rough again. But we have Spanish and Kaiguami. Yeah, I was gonna say that sounds Bolivian, like um, Villamontes. Wait, I think I've heard of Villamontes actually before. I think. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. I think, like six months ago during summer, when I was before I started making YouTube videos about GeoGuessr, I think I started. Uh, I was playing um, Diverse World, and I think I remember this place name actually. Well, heard of it, but no, I don't know where it is. Okay, found it. Here's Villa Montes. So this should be then a pretty easy game. Now, I... okay, I think when I was playing, I didn't actually. Mm. No, I think when I was playing, I actually remember it was summer, and I think I was like on this road, and then it was like here. I think I might be completely wrong, but it all just seems so familiar. So. We are entering Villa Montes, and it is to our south. So we are entering from up here. Now, where would you get the sign? There's an Energia gas station, which I can't quite see. There's this, but doesn't quite make sense. Now, can it be this far up? I don't think so. It just has to be around here. I mean, there's a gas station, but it has a different name. But I am willing to click here, to be honest. As that say, yeah, Surtidor Kaiguani. So, ah, here's Kaiguami. But are we here? I mean, if we go north, are there any houses? There are some. And then it slightly turns. But Hotel El Rosal? I didn't see that. Well, I'll just gamble on it because it has the same name. And if it's this one, then that's unfortunate, but I don't really care. So let's click. Yeah, we got it, we got it. So, actually, it was just a Peru round that screwed us over pretty much, right? I mean, sure, Indonesia wasn't great, but it was good. It's a bit of a pity that I didn't get the perfect score in Spain, even though I had it in the beginning, but the rest, the rest was fine. I mean, screw Peru, man. I should have gone faster and looked for a sign that said Iquitos, but how can I know? I thought that um, Bellavista Nanay was the place name, but it wasn't. Anyway, that's about it. That's enough talking, enough playing. It was fairly enjoyable, I can say. I can say that. Uh, I liked the game. And if you did as well and played, do let me know how you did uh, in a comment below. If you liked the video, Give it a like, would be very much appreciated. And if you like what you see on the channel, definitely subscribe for more. Good. I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.